must say there's going to be plenty of stake in this game, but this tournament has been played in such good spirits. It's been a heck of fun. <laughs> well, Mama Mo's taken over, but no. Whitney Sooners to get New Zealand underway. Last five final, 2018. Ah, but not to be. An early win for Jamaica. An early <laughs> Jamaica underway. And as you said, Liz, this game this morning between these two sides, incredibly low scoring. There was one quarter that was actually 4 2. It was the lowest quarter of the tournament. Right over the head of Fitzpatrick. Which is amazing, that low score, given that Ramelda Aiken is such a scoring machine. And if Jamaica choose to just sit her under the post, they could do a lot worse. I could not believe that Ramelda Aiken is only 29. She seems to have been on the international stage forever. It's a credit to her. She's an amazing athlete and gets better and, and adds more to a game with every year. And there's another amazing athlete, Bailey Mez. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm really excited to see what Bailey Mez does in, in this game. She's been really a steadying influence for New Zealand through the course of this tournament. Yep, and she hasn't been seen in international since the Commonwealth Games. Would dearly like to be back on that stage. So Jamaica going once side to side. Lucky pick up there from Aiken. Well, Aiken threw to herself and caught it. So that's how far she's got, Jen. And here's the woman to watch, not choosing to shoot it this time, Beckford. One. Jamaica taking the ones. Marvett Anderson. She'll be pleased with the progress of her side. They've only lost one game, Jamaica. That was to Australia. And of course, New Zealand, just the one loss to this side this morning. Oh, Sterling, she will have a go at anything that's floated up in the air. So Whitney Sooners just needs to rethink that approach. Having said that, a beautiful bounce pass into Bailey Mears. Jamaica actually finished on top of the table. That's a win for New Zealand. Hell ball. And that'll just apply a little bit more pressure to this Jamaican side. Oh. Sterling just a little late on the jump. And smart move from Mez just to go through with the shot and finish it off. And the rebound, if you don't mind. And Bailey Mez had the chance to win the game for New Zealand this morning. Missed it with a long shot. Very little between these two sides throughout the tournament. Oh, Fitzpatrick trying to win an Academy Award for falling down. It's the right of all goalkeepers to do that. I'm not having none of it. <laughs> no. well, oh, look, Aiken, she did, she backed into it, but sometimes you've got to show the umpires what's going on. And there's for two. No. Rethinks it, goes to the top of the circle. That'll do! The moment the shooters, the New Zealand shooters, have Shamira Sterling out of the way, you know they're going to go to the post with a degree of confidence. Here's a Dean Thomason at centre. And here's Vangeline Williams on the goal defence. She's been superb for Jamaica through the course of this tournament. Just incredibly fierce in that back line, provides them with so much strength and power and run through the midcourt. You've got to love this Jamaican side, full of characters too, as well as being athletes. This one in particular, Nadine Thomas, a bit of a rapper. <laughs> Tristina Harwood as well, on at goal attack, just watch for her to sink some long shots. So a very conservative opening from Jamaica. Ramelda Aiken, four from four, all one point shots. Hoy now on for New Zealand at centre with the ball. I agree with you, Liz, she's been a star of this tournament. And similarly conservative for New Zealand, Bailey Mez now five from six, all from the one point region. Thomas Waits. Center contact. Awkward for Vangeli Williams. All bunched over on one side of the court. Here's Howard. Contact goalkeeper. Oh, 
really unlucky for Fitzpatrick. She had front position. I thought she did well. So nothing in it. 6-5, New Zealand lead. Karen Berger on at goal defence for New Zealand. She has been superb through this tournament. Sterling just getting a fingertip to that. Long, stripling build. Monica Faulkner now steadies. That'll do. Boom. She had a look around too, so it didn't take the full three seconds for the long shot. But it's a tangle awkward for Sterling. Those limbs are so long. It's a long way down and a long way up. Aiken just asking the players to come forward. Ah, with the little lollipop pass. Here's this for two from Aiken. Not that time. And you wonder, you know, how much of this game just becomes as much as anything an endurance test. Yeah, I mean, it does. And the Jamaican midcourt at the moment, especially with Harwood, she's not a runner, so they're looking a little bit one-off. We noticed that in the game just earlier with Malawi, they look tired. No tiredness for Bailey Mears. Just a few seconds remaining in this first quarter. 10-5, New Zealand with a big ball into Aiken from Jamaica. That was a smart play from Adam Thomas then. Harwood will settle. Not that time for Jamaica. Good first quarter for New Zealand. They go to the break, leading in the final, 10-5. Their Deacon power play in the second quarter, and they want to make better use of it than they did this morning. They most certainly do. Actually didn't dominate possession in that quarter. Jamaica did. They had the ball 53% of the time, New Zealand 47. But the fact that New Zealand outscored Jamaica 2-1 to win that first quarter 10-5 just indicates they're making the most of the possession they get. Here's Aaliyah Dunn on court. Not this time for the youngster. It's thrown back, but picked up by Jamaica. This power play quarter is a funny thing, though, isn't it? It just plays with the athletes' minds. And some of them have used it so well, but often it's been a disaster. Yeah, it has, because, because you can see them trying to do too much with it. Oh, where should I shoot from? What position should I take? You've just got to play it out. Just play what's in front of you. We can add one more. Sooner stack at centre for New Zealand. And you can see her calling for somebody to come up. Here's Ekanasio. Oh, she looked comfortable, didn't she? Beautiful screen there from Alia Dunn. And that gave Emilia and Ekanasio just a little bit of extra space and time to line up the shot. And she packs it up with a great defensive effort. Well, she had fabulous numbers from this tournament last year, Ekanasio. As Whitney soon as skips through. Off Williams. Where you are. Makes her way to the two-point area. Instruction in the one or two. And I guess during the power play, you're always going to choose the two. And she takes another two points more for New Zealand. And they lead this quarter 6-1. It is their power play. So Jamaica doing their best just to delay progress down the court. Good try, Aiden does the 360. <laughs> So the skill is to try and make the umpire think that, hey, we're just using the ball. Oh, oh yes, beautiful! Super shot from Beckford. She just looked so easy, didn't she? Every time. Just hurls that ball up. That's a big moment for Jamaica in this game. There you go, the defensive Beckford has picked up. Yep. It's amazing what a three-point shot can do just to change everything. 
looks at that turnaround. My pen has exploded. Oh, really? Oh, no. Off balance. So, oh. oh, footwork. That has been a real feature of this tournament, hasn't it? Lots of stepping calls, lots of three-second calls. You just see the players trying to sneak the extra metres. It's a better build-up from Jamaica. Aiken. No. Thanks again. She, she hasn't had a long shot drop in the tournament. What a time to do it. When the centre is now, Holly Fowler is out. Holly yes. Fowler oh, has oh, been oh, busy oh, in this oh, tournament. Oh, time back on. Two and a half minutes left in this power play for New Zealand as Aiken adds one more for Jamaica. Super smart work then from Fitzpatrick. She was all over Shanice Beckwood, ha happy to give away the one-point shot. No way did she want the two-point shot taken. There's Settles, but she'll get another go. Not that Pizza. time either. New Zealand scored eight in their power play this morning. We've got Pizza. six so far in this quarter. Because what happened was they were run down by Jamaica in the fourth quarter. Oh, Fitzpatrick. She was looking for it. Did really well to avoid a collision, but it's given Beckford the space she needs for this shot. Well, good effort from Fitzpatrick, but she's never going to out jump Ramelda Aiken, who adds one more. Six all in this quarter. Well, Fitzpatrick and Berger, they've, all the New Zealand defensive line have done the lift a few times. They almost need to do that for the rebound, don't they? And I'm surprised we haven't seen it here. Got a good attachment. Oh, that's a big ask. Done does well. And that's a settler for New Zealand. Just to add the two more. And there's nothing wrong with just keeping things ticking over. When games come down to just one or two points in it, if you can pick up an extra two points in the power play, it's valuable. There, oh, you could see Fitzpatrick was setting up for the hoist. Not required. Aiken adds one more. Just watch as soon as he... She goes for the ball just a little late, but that's the kind of defensive play we're used to seeing from New Zealand. Ekanasio for four. One. So Dunn adds the two. Very slowly, they inch along. New Zealand. Contact only Send it down. They lead 20 to 12. What a nice control. Well done. <laughs> Impressive. When Ramelda winds the arm up, you can see the midcourt getting nervous. Oh, that's oh. She oh, She is just a top. Monster Fitzpatrick then for the rebound. New Zealand has the last shot. Oh, oh. They know there's not oh. much time. Oh. No oh. 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 To the second quarter, New Zealand's power play. Oh. It is half time. Oh. New Zealand lead 20 to 12. Jamaica has not that Deacon power play coming in the fourth quarter. So, look at these numbers that we've had so far. Interesting, isn't it? New Zealand just getting more whistled through the contacts and the penalties. What they are doing, it's a low turnover game. New Zealand are doing a really good job of scoring off those turnovers. They've got two goals from the six turnovers that they've been given from the Jamaicans. This game's going to be about capitalising on mistakes when you pick up ball, scoring off it. Oh, it has another go. Why wouldn't you when you've got Ramelda Aiken under the post to pick it up for you, except it's not Aiken. It's Holly Fowler. Well, the radar has gone off for Harwood. She's been so good throughout this tournament, currently sitting at none from four. Big ball down court. Ekinacio goes back to Fowler. New Zealand dancing down the sideline. And now to Dunn. Oh, oh. Two for Dunn. Beautiful long shot. Funny, isn't it? They weren't really able to do that in the power play quarter. Now the pressure's off. Yep, off they go. Throw it in. It is amazing, isn't it? 
But the pressure will be back on Jamaica double. They're trailing by a reasonable about now nine. That last quarter, I think it's going to be frantic. It's almost like everyone's just treading water at the moment. You may well be right. Well, whoever doesn't tread water successfully sinks. <laughs> 10 points in it, 23-13, early stages. Third quarter, foul are called. Aiken soars in, adds one more. The motor Aiken is the one player who can take this game by the scruff of the neck, isn't she? She could just do it all herself. Just about as long as she doesn't know how sometimes the shooting just goes off, she gets the yips. She certainly hasn't done anything like that though this weekend. She's been good, she's been focused. Interesting hearing Shimona Nelson talking to you before the game, talking about how much winning this would mean to Jamaican netball, second last year. But just quietly, New Zealand netball's had a pretty rugged year. It would mean a lot to New Zealand. Yeah, haven't had a great run, but. I'm just really struggling to feel sorry for you, Jen. <laughs> oh, there you go. You don't have to feel sorry for us. No, I mean, Aaliyah Dunn doing it all herself. I just love what this tournament has turned up, just in terms of the young talent coming through. Loving what the young Kiwi stars are being able to produce. One. Keeping the margin at 10. Halfway mark. Third quarter. Claire Kirsten. We've seen a bit of her at goal defence. Also oh. in this tournament, Ekinasio throws another two down. She was so confident the moment it left her hand, Ekinasio started running back to the midcourt for the centre pass. Oh, Williams. Mm, looks awkward for yeah. Angeli Williams. She is a real workhorse in that Jamaican defensive unit. And she's the captain. Speaking of the Jamaican defensive unit, we haven't spoken very much about Shamira Sterling in this game. The New Zealand front line doing a really good job of keeping her quiet. Oh, great box by Bailey Mears. Nothing Sterling could do. And here comes Faulkner into the fray. Shanice Beckford back on as well. That's a better build up from Jamaica. Oh. Big leap from Kirsten, just about got to Aiken's shoulders. Obstruction! Both of you are out. Obstruction! Yeah. <laughs> Two or one. Just Patrick having a bit of a chat. Oh, beautiful! Shanice Bickford, so reliable for Jamaica. Right on cue, Shamira Sterling. Don't tell me I've been quiet. He's a great intercept. You do wonder sometimes, don't you, if the players somehow <laughs> pick up what's being said. Well, you know, they know. As a goalkeeper, she would know that she's been a little bit quiet, so she would have run just that little bit harder going looking for the ball. And again, these are the moments that just turn the game. Suddenly, Jamaica have got some pep in their step. Oh, awkward for Aiken. This is where it all began. Yeah. Lovely arms and hands. Yeah, New Zealand not quite so keen this time down to let it go. Oh, Mez very nearly stole the rebound. Gee, she's got a terrific vertical leap. Well, this is a good quarter for Jamaica. Remember, their power play to come. Well, they haven't won a quarter all game, but currently sitting at seven to New Zealand's eight for this quarter. Now, can New Zealand make the most of it? There's plenty of time here. Here's the England side looking on. Netball rules that does your head in sometimes. The long shot. Well, 
Runs into the third quarter. Ronelda Aiken put it hands over her head. New Zealand lead at 28 19, but it's the Jamaican power play coming up. Nine points in it. This is the grand final of the 2018 Fast Five World Series. New Zealand lead 28 19. It is the Jamaican power play. Test here for New Zealand. They got run down in the final quarter this morning when these two sides met. Will Jamaica do it again? And if they do, can they win their first ever title at Fast Five? Oh, New Zealand will be happy just to take this build up gently, easily, adding one. What, every time they score, it puts pressure back on Jamaica to take risks, to take the long bombs. Jamaica aren't going to make up 10 points by sinking just two points at a time. This is what Jamaica do so well. Two by two. All about possession for New Zealand, but of course they can't. Go mad with possession. Yeah, Williams read that beautifully. Boy just kept ahead though. It's a nasty feeling hearing a defender running out at you. She did well to keep their eyes on the ball. And this is where so much pressure on the New Zealand defence. Trying to keep, I think, a pretty good eye on Shanice Beckford. Yeah, and interestingly, just on the centre pass then, Ekinacio and Mez just got up and double teamed Williams. But here's an opportunity. Yes. Beckford in the mid court. Oh, boy. She's so fast, isn't she? Oh, boy, eh? <laughs> I had to get that in at some <laughs> point. <laughs> Heavy hit there from Williams, but makes no difference to Foy. And again, the important thing is they're keeping hold of the ball. They've been told to use it. So they'll be aware of the warning. Oh, look at the leap of Bailey Mears. Leap and the timing is just superb. The follow-up doesn't stand there and just watch the shot. She knows she's got to hustle in to pick up anything. Did it beautifully. I reckon Jamaica have to start taking some risks now. They've got to get out to that two-point zone. Here they are getting back, but in position. This will be six. Oh, they go back out. Oh, oh, that's beautiful the defensive effort. It was three on one against Beckford. And look at the transition play from New Zealand. So fast down court, clinical in their finish. Mears adds one more. Here's a thought to keep you happy, Jen. England won the Fast Five tournament last year and went on to win the Commonwealth Games gold medal this year. Is it, does it bode well for New Zealand netball? Well, well, they haven't won it yet. No, but it's enough to make them work out. Oh, and there's a six-point shot. Just like that. Oh, and Jamaica are back in the game. That's all it takes. A little bit of Beckford magic. Oh, and Black, oh. I think she might have replayed it. Yeah, offside. Jean Thomas. Oh, and again! Oh, she's done it again! It's almost like New Zealand will, will give you another chance. It's almost like Jamaica have got a sniff and they think they're a chance. Well, I wonder now if New Zealand are going to have to take some threes. Yes, they're ahead, but you just think it won't be for long. Ramelda, if one's going to sink, now's it. Oh! OK. New Zealand, do little short passes, but in the right direction. <laughs> Jen, you're going to come and do that, not a coach. <laughs> I'd be a useless coach. Three oh, seconds. No. Big moment for oh, Jamaica. And the crowd is into it. Oh, boy. Contact central. Oh, this is thrilling. Dead full up. 
Can't believe it. Ekanasio looks at the clock. Just the easy shot. Well done, Adine Thomas. Two goals in it. You're right, Jen. Now New Zealand need to take a risk with the shot. They settled just for one. Is it enough? Well, you've got to think it won't be. Adine Thomas. A goal attack. Pause. Goal third. Yeah, so there's the penalty. Yes. That frees up Williams. They need her down the court. A strong challenge. Berger. She's been good all tournament. Is that the match winning intercept? Karen Berger. She will be the toast of New Zealand if they can pull this off. Oh, Angeline Williams goes through. Now, I have to be careful here, New Zealand. There's the call. Use it. Oh, and there's a the turnover. Is it enough? There's Beckford. She goes high to Aiken. They don't need two points, they need four. Here we go. 34 33. New Zealand has possession. The crowd has gone mad. The noise. Again, fast five champions. So close, so close. And I reckon Shanice Beckford has been so good through this tournament, but she had a brain fade. They, she needed to get down there and shoot the four points. New Zealand kept their head when Jamaica didn't. It was a 14-6 final quarter to Jamaica, but they've fallen just one point short. Well, you've got a feel for Jamaica bridesmaids last year. <laughs> and they miss out again this year, but New Zealand, the queens of fast five netball.